Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another juicy video. Pretty soon it's gonna be a year that we've been in quarantine, a year that we've mostly been living in our houses, not doing much. So naturally, this is gonna lead to people being bored at home, you know, pretty much nothing to do with their free time, and that's what we're gonna be taking a look at today with this tweet that I actually teased in the last video, but decided this deserves its whole own separate video. This is your annual reminder that not everyone celebrates it's Christmas. The default to Merry Christmas as a normal greeting is also white supremacy culture at work. If someone celebrates, by all means, but so many people don't. Thank you for your annual reminder, Jen. I don't know what I would have done without that. You heard it here, guys. Saying Merry Christmas in 2020 is now white supremacy in the works. I want to know, has anyone watching this video ever been offended by being told Merry Christmas? How much of a snowflake can you possibly be to be offended by that like that transcends being a snowflake she takes that term to a whole new level you also gotta be one bored and miserable sad sack if you're gonna devote your energy to being offended by the words merry christmas i want you guys to pay attention to the date that tweet was posted december 24th imagine spending your holiday being bitter and angry tweeting that merry christmas promotes white supremacy you're supposed to be together with your family it's a time of happiness you're feasting but no this is what somebody was devoting their time and energy to. Like, if someone told me Happy Hanukkah or Happy Kwanzaa, Feliz Navidad, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't think twice and just say it back. Never once would it cross my mind that you're being some sort of supremacist of your culture. Come to think of it, Feliz Navidad is just Spanish for Merry Christmas, so you're gonna tell me that all Latino people are promoting white supremacy? If you want to get historic, Jesus himself, you know, the founder of Christianity, lived in the Middle East and was most likely a darker skinned man so it is just insane to say that Merry Christmas promotes white supremacy. Not only that but I'm pretty sure it's common knowledge that Christianity is the most followed religion in the world spread across every continent so if anything it's the most racially diverse religion. Now I do have good news guys it seems like a lot of people did not like this tweet which is understandable and uh, she got a bunch of backlash. I actually went over to her Twitter to see if she responded to all this backlash and surprise surprise she privated her twitter you know if you're gonna be tweeting stuff like that don't bitch out the second you start getting criticism i guarantee you she knew exactly what she was typing when she made that tweet she knew that this was gonna get a reaction probably thinking she was gonna get showered with praise with many people agreeing with her since you know hating on anything to do with white people is usually gonna get you likes on twitter also quick side note she also has pronouns in her bio why am I not surprised to see that? How the fuck is this person verified? That's another question I have. I've never heard of her. She doesn't even have that many followers. There's people with hundreds of thousands or even millions of followers who aren't verified, yet someone working at Twitter decided to verify this nobody, tweeting some of the stupidest shit I've read all year. Look at that satisfying ratio as well. When you have 200 likes and 2,000 quote tweets, you know you fucked up. I actually saw this article earlier today as well, which which might be just as ridiculous as the tweet we just saw. The anonymous letter writer claimed that the lights were harmful to people who don't celebrate Christmas or cannot afford decorations of their own. So the story is apparently a few people in the neighborhood got a letter saying that their Christmas lights were offensive. And uh, here's a small excerpt of the letter. So it says here that Christmas lights are a reminder of divisions that continue to run through our society. I don't think I've ever looked at a Christmas light and thought of anything remotely similar to that. Apparently Christmas lights are also a reminder of systemic biases, according to this person who wrote the letter, who strikes me as a Karen. Imagine sending anonymous letters to your neighbors just because you don't like their Christmas lights. A GoFundMe has also been set up to supply Christmas lights to homes along the street, and a local company has offered to come and install festive decorations for free. That right there is the dub that 2020 needed to end off the year. If I was a person on that street, not only would I try to put as much lights on my house as possible, but those lights would also be staying on my house all year. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think about saying Merry Christmas in the comments down below. Does it promote white supremacy? Are Christmas lights racist? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And until then, stay sexy. Peace.